ever tore apart an engine? Well, I have, and I learned how to from Mr. Johansson, who's been doing it for the last 15 years. And this here is a 10A 902, uh, typical small gas engines class engine, and I'm going to show you how to tear it apart today. Alright, first off, you're going to need some tools. I'm just going to grab them out of here and explain what they are as I go, because there's a lot and I'm not exactly sure what we're going to need. This is a ratchet. It's to pull off these bolts that are right here, which are quite easy to loosen and stick off. You want to normally use two hands or a part on the ratchet, but I don't have a partner, so I'm just going to use one and hold it down. Um, one thing you want to watch out though is if you are, if you have a partner and you're doing with two, that you don't have one hand near any part that is going to easily, or you're going to catch your hand on. Um, some of these parts I have learned from experience are not the best metal and they will cut you. Heads up on that. All I'm doing is switching out the Make sure there's no gas. These haven't. This one hasn't been run in quite a while, so I'm not too concerned. And most of the bolts are already pretty loose, so I'm pretty sure there's no gas or oil in it. And I'm right now pulling bolts off with a shroud, which is just kind of a cover. Make sure you, none of your parts get. Inside here is where you have your recoil. It's supposed to be called a recoil starter, but most people in the shop just call it a recoil. Now I'm pulling off the armature, which is what gives you your electrical. a heads up, you probably don't want to wear something nice or white when you're working on engines. I just decided to because, I don't know, I feel like it. I've done it before, so I know somewhat what to look, to look out for. your armature and your ignition wire. Next, I am going to take off the Frida cover, which we already had this last, but quite loose. So I'll just pull off the bolt. There's your air cleaner, Frida cover.
make it easier to unscrew smaller bolts than using a ratchet and a socket. sure when you're taking these off. If you don't like getting dirty, you can wear uh, latex gloves. Uh, I don't really mind getting my hands oily or anything, so it doesn't bother me. But that's just a su suggestion because I know some people rather keep their hands clean. Let's see, so now I'm going off the breather. If you haven't taken small gas engines, I recommend it as a junior or a senior. I took it my last semester, and I didn't have a lot of my friends in it, but you'll get to learn a lot of stuff about tearing down engines. Like, there is a magnet on this that just grabbed the bolt I have in my hand. Also want to make sure to watch out for if a part has washers on it because you don't want to wreck your washers so that they hold a, or make a seal around the area that you are taking or where your bolt is. That's not why. She usually shouldn't come off that easily, but. Flywheel, which is this part off, is almost always a two person job unless you have a Something to hold it down or uh, clamps. Uh, that's not what it is, though, that I'm thinking of. kind of drill will work, I guess. But, uh, yeah. That's as far as I'm going to go right now because I don't have the right tools and my time's up. Mm -hmm. So, that is how to get to the fly, or take an engine apart to the flywheel. And, yeah. That's as far as I'm going to go today.